Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to calculate fractions to get an average. Now, finding an average is pretty easy, but when it incorporates fractions, it can be a little bit lengthy, so we're going to talk about the strategy and how to get there. Now, when it comes to calculating fractions to get an average, you want to basically find the average of those fractions. So let's just say you have one-half, two-fifths, four-thirds, and one-seventh, for example. What you have to do is, as you might imagine finding the average, you have to add all those numbers together. Now, the longest part of this is you have to do. The simple part occurs, actually, is when you divide by the total number of, of numbers available. In this case, there's four, so you're dividing by four. But remember, when you have a fraction on top of another number, the best thing to do is when you're dividing by four, think about the four as another fraction. As you know, with any whole number, it's that whole number over one. So after you find the least common denominator of these four fractions and you add them, you're going to have some kind of a, another fraction altogether. When you're dividing by four, which you're dividing by four over one, you're actually multiplying by one fourth. So basically to calculate fractions to find an average, you add all those fractions and then you multiply whatever your answer is by one-fourth and that will be your average. So the bottom line is when it comes to calculating fractions to find an average, you add all those fractions, find the LCD to get there, and then multiply by one-quarter. It's as simple as that. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's how to calculate fractions to find an average.